So one sleepless night I uh, picked up a model engineer's workshop magazine to have a look through, try kill a bit of time. This one's dated March 2004 and in it was an article about using hot melt glue filler as a means of work holding for machining. So the article mentions that this is a very common method of gluing uh, used by woodworkers when laying down veneers. So I thought, oh well, that's worth a try. So I went and bought some. So the glue film is on one side and it's on a paper backing, so obviously you peel it off. So I have actually used this once uh, while making the eccentric rods for my Lion locomotive, part 59. If you want to check that out, and it worked exceptionally well. So I thought that we would just do a little test on a metal steel bar, which I'll glue to a backing plate, and just see how far we can uh, push it. The idea is not to take massive cuts and see how quickly it fails, but to see how far we can go taking it easy, and therefore how successful it can be. Okay, I've got a backing plate and our test piece. I've cleaned these with some uh, cellulose thinners. Just take the uh, backing paper off. That's the paper, that's the glue. Okay, probably trim that. Put it on three. Okay, the glue's melted. Just put a bit of weight on. So we'll turn this off. And just let it cool. Okay, so the block is um, 16 millimeters or five eighths of an inch wide, eight millimeter thick or uh, five sixteenths. Um, so we're just going to mill along the side, take a full depth cut along the side, and work along, see how far we get before the glue gives in. It's a 10 millimeter cutter, just over three eighths. It's not brand new. It's done a bit of work. But it's in good condition. Okay, we'll just take a clean up cut. So that's actually com coming to quite a deep cut at the back there. Um, I think we'll take a 0.5 millimetre cut or 20 thou, so set to zero. No problem. Another 0.5. So it's finally given in. So we're at seven and a half millimeters removed there. So that's pretty good, I think. So we'll glue it back on and we'll take lighter cuts and see how far we get. I haven't added any extra glue, but I have added a weight to compress it down a little bit. 
Okay, that's it cleaned in, so we'll set our digital readout to zero and we'll take uh, 025 millimeter 10 thou cuts. I'm not sure if it actually moved there. Eh? Yeah, it's come away at one side. So I think I'll re-glue it this time with some new glue and see how we get on. So I've uh, roughed up the surface a bit more with a file. It's a bit rougher than it was before anyway. Okay, so we're able to get that down from 16 millimeters wide, 5 eighths, down to about 8 millimeters wide, or 5 sixteenths. So as we were machining at a full depth of cut, we're actually also reducing the surface area of the glue holding it in place. So what I thought I would do to continue is actually raise the cut of 4 millimeters or 3 six, uh, 5 32ths. So we're only taking half the depth of cut, but also as we machine it away, we're not reducing the surface area of the glue. And see how far we get on. Again, we'll take 0.25 millimeter or 10 thou uh, cuts. First, we need to just clean it in. Okay, we're cleaned in all the way along there. So we're cutting an even cut all the way along. So I set my digital readout to zero, 0.25 millimeters. Okay, so we've taken a total of three millimeters uh, that way in the x direction at uh, 10.25 millimeter depth of cut. That's going very well. I'm pretty sure we can assume that that would just go all the way across at that. So we'll step up the ante a little bit and we'll take 0.5 cuts, 0.5 millimeter and uh, 20 thou. So here we go. Okay, that's going pretty good. So that's four millimeters total depth we've taken in this X direction. <coughs> so I think we'll uh, go to one millimeter depth of cut. See what happens. I think we found the limit. So our workpiece has had quite a small relative um, surface area for the glue. 
So I think we'll do one more test with a larger piece where we have a much bigger uh, surface area of the glue of, with respect to the size of the cutter. So we'll give that a go. Okay, so I'm just using some bits of scrap here. So this obviously now has got a much larger surface area for the glue adhesion with respect to the size of the cutter. So it should have a pretty good hold. So we'll touch on and we'll melt some slots across and see what happens. Okay, so we're touching on. We'll take a one millimeter cut across there. So just to recap, the cutter is 10 millimeters diameter. This is mild steel. Okay, we'll take uh, a two millimeter cut. I think that proves the point. So I don't think we need to do any more. So it's not a very scientific approach to testing this, but I think it shows that uh, given enough surface area for the glue, you can do some decent machining in the milling machine. And I did use it for my uh, eccentric rods on my lion build. which went very well. So I hope that's been helpful and interesting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.